I like to cook outside. I like to cook something simple for you. Firstly, I'd like to introduce that I'm gonna cook a zucchini flour and I'm gonna cook it in the Mediwok. This Mediwok is from Atomy. It is beautiful, great 316 stainless steel. So it is a surgical quality stainless steel that the doctors even put as a hot ring. Um, the materials is non-corrosive. It's not gonna counter interact with any salt, acids, heat, even you cook it for a long period of time so this is the top grade quality of stainless steel like gold it is 24 karat gold so i'll show you what it comes with so it comes with the lid and then it has the uh, the strainer and the steamer which is good enough for you to steam fish or chicken and also the frying pan so i'm gonna cook I'm gonna use the frying pan today to do the fry cooking which is very very handy very straightforward and then heat up in no time so let once we hit the oil and then we're ready to go so with the zucchini flour I already washed them so they are our first zucchini flour that we grow in the garden and we also have our own lemon here and the rest uh, we have the ingredients as uh, just salt and pepper, plain flour. So we have two different kinds of plain, plain, plain flour. This is four tablespoons of plain flour and two tablespoons of rice flour to make it stay crispy longer. And then this um, two, three tablespoons of plain flour just to dust it off to make um, the, the batter stick longer. Right, so when you wash this, just remember to wash this very gently and then to take all this piston out with a pincette so it's it comes from the center of the uh, of the flour so you take it out otherwise it just tastes slightly bitter so I'm just gonna dust all of my guinea flour to, just to get them ready for the frying because I'm gonna use the better I'm gonna use the flour for the better It will make it nice and fluffy butter. Oh, this is an option, right? If you want to use um, a bit of uh, chicken stock, so just use one teaspoon of chicken stock. You may as well do that. But for the vegetarian version, this time is a chicken stock. So this is just to, just enough batter for um, about a half a dozen of zucchini. Okay, so this is the consistency that you're looking at, that you're looking for, because you don't want it too thick and doughy. your zucchini flour, stem and all, and then we'll see if the oil is ready. Yep, it is. So, it will be ready in no time. I'm so excited to try this zucchini.
So sometimes people need to uh, want to stuff the zucchini with ricotta or with some mushroom and cheese or bacon and cheese. But I want to do it very quick way because you also can do it even without any stuffing in it. You can have it like a zucchini that, um, fritters, like tempura fritters. Oh, that looks gorgeous. So just wait until it's golden brown. So it's good not to overcrowd uh, your frying pan so they can cook evenly as well. And then with this strainer, it's so handy that you can just put your finished products and then um, the oil is just dripping back Oh, this looks so nice. So while I'm waiting for uh, for it to be cooked, so I'm just gonna do a very simple dressing. Just mayonnaise, just the cute pie, um, Japanese mayonnaise. Squeeze a bit of lemon. And the um, mixed herbs, Italian, Italian mixed herbs. And a dash of um, olive oil that's uh, infused with garlic and onion. Let's put the dipping sauce ready to go. Tastes like. Mmm. Yum. It's nice and crispy, and the batter is so light. Nice and crispy. The butter is so light, 
and the um, the dressings, uh, the the dipping sauce is mus and zingy with a le with lemon and with a bit of Italian flavor. Oh yum! I'm gonna try the flour now. Mmm. Yum. It is so good. Mmm. See you on your sleep. Mm. Cheers everyone.